Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House and in this video we're taking a closer look at the latest from Four Seasons, it's the Evo Plus generation and this particular unit is the 680. Now let's give you a full rundown on the new benefits and features this light has to offer. And of course this is an Evo Plus series model, which means that it's using none other than the Samsung LM301H Evo diodes. These are specifically tuned for plant growth using Samsung's plant-centric spectrum, which we'll cover shortly, but most importantly they boast 3.14 U-moles of efficiency. They are simply class-leading when it comes to converting electrical efficiency into lighting output. And to really give this new Evo Plus series an edge, these all new 90 degree lens caps are making the difference. They're really helping to focus that light down and deliver it further into the canopy, making a huge difference as we're seeing less losses on the size of the grow space, really driving up that PPFD, and of course adding another layer of protection to those very precious diodes. And just bringing it back a little bit, this is of course a Helios family design panel, meaning it's a bar style LED grow light. This is a full frame design measuring 1.15 by 1.15, so it is there to ensure complete canopy saturation, high levels of intensity, even right out to a 1.5 by 1.5 meter flowering space. Beyond the physical frame size, there have been some key changes to the design aesthetics of this panel. No longer are you having to clip in the LED bars, drop the driver on the back and plug it all in, it is simply a fold out frame design. Once you've folded the panel out and installed the locking pins, it is simply plug and play from there. It really is a nice change and it does make setting this panel up and even pulling it down really easy. But taking an actual closer look at these heat sinks, there have been some considerable changes there as well. The additional growth in the size of the heat sink has allowed a lot more real estate for diodes to be fitted. Going from around 1500 diodes to just under 2000, it's making a significant difference in real world applications. Allowing this panel to be much more electrically efficient, generate less heat and increase lighting output. The diodes themselves are in fact split between 3000K and 5000K colour temperatures, that's the Samsung Evo diodes. It's effectively combining a veg and a flower bulb into a single grow light, meaning you are getting the full spectrum experience from this unit. There are of course 660 and 730 specific wavelength diodes in there to really bolster the spectrum in those key areas, we'll touch on that shortly. And of course powering up all of those Samsung diodes, Four Seasons has put a lot of effort into their driver solution which is tucked neatly inside that slim and sleek centre rail, the one with Four Seasons embossed on it so you know it's good stuff. But not only that, this rail is extremely slim, without the driver sitting on top it means this panel can slip right into those very tight and very compact grow spaces if you need it to. And the driver itself has seen some improvements in electrical efficiency, reliability and thermal load generated, so really nice to see there are improvements below the surface. Interconnecting that driver to the sensitive electrical components, we are now seeing copper conductors with silicon grey cables and IP rated connectors, meaning that this panel is good for those really harsh growing climates. Slim and sleek and completely silent, these panels are passively cool, meaning there's no fans, whirring or any noise at all during operation. Now keeping in mind this is an Evo 680, so it's going to pull up to 680 watts from the wall, which is a crazy amount of power and a lot of lighting intensity that you're probably not going to need to use at all times. So what they've done is they've integrated a dimmer module right into the end rail, making it a really accessible point to simply reach in and adjust the output intensity from your grow light. Simply put, for a lot of growers out there, they're going to start this panel down nice and low from their seed and gradually ramp it up all the way to harvest. It's a really nice addition and a really easy way to simply make those adjustments. And of course to be expected with a Four Seasons commercial grow light fixture, these are backed with a full five year warranty and SAA certification, meaning that they're safe to use from New Zealand all the way to Australia, whether it's domestic or commercial application, you are covered by insurance. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for that premium grow light fixture for even those harsh conditions. But enough of the tabletop specifications, let's get this out and into the grow tent behind me and give you guys some real world numbers. So today's grow tent of choice is of course the AC Infinity Cloud Lab 844 measuring 1.2 by 1.2 and 2 meters tall. As you can see this light just squeezes in there which is perfectly fine but keep in mind it will provide up to a 1.5 by 1.5 flowering space, no problems at all. Now of course with this particular light installation is extremely easy, that fold out frame does get you up and running really quickly, but the four included rope ratchet hangers do allow you to lift and lower this light to your heart's content. Of course the lower you have it to your plants the more intense it's going to be, but with that slim line profile you can easily tuck this light up nice and high in those compact grow spaces. 
Now what we're going to do today is break out our Apogee Far Pass sensor and we're going to take some tests to give you guys an overall outcome of what this light has to deliver at different dimmer settings because again you're not going to need all of that intensity at once. Now our Apogee Far Pass sensor is giving us an overall breakdown on that level of intensity across the visual spectrum including far red. Now when we take a look at these PAR maps it's really giving you a good indication to the level of intensity you're expecting to see. For most growers out there anywhere above 300 U moles is going to give you a very comfortable vegetative growth. Typically anything above 600 U moles is going to put you in a really good flowering position. Keep in mind though if you do transition above 1000 U moles or PAR we are in the territory where we typically recommend CO2 supplementation to make the most of what this grow light has to offer. So taking a look at these PAR maps you'll notice that these lenses that are now fitted across this panel are seeing a significant boost in the overall intensity which is going to translate to deeper canopy penetration. So now that we've got a good indication on the overall intensity this grow light delivers, the quality of light is really where these EVOs shine. That plant centric spectrum developed by Samsung really does make a difference. So we're going to use our spectral radiometer to take a sample of light and give you guys a full breakdown. With our spectral radiometer test we can easily identify the benefits that these new EVO diodes have. It's certainly hard to perceive this to the eye. When we take a closer look we're seeing a slight shift in wavelengths towards a more plant centric growth. Take a closer look at the sample of light you're going to notice a very high peak in the blue wavelengths thanks to the 5000K Samsung diodes. This is going to help your plant stay shorter, stockier and really bush out in the confines of a grow tent. As we move across the full spectrum wavelength you're going to notice another high peak in the reds. This is thanks to the 3000K Samsung diodes and of course the 660s for pushing this area up. What this means is your plants are going to be experiencing very high levels of red wavelengths to help push fruiting and flowering development. Just beyond that red peak is another small bump in the 730 range, specifically thanks to those diodes on these boards. It does make a difference when we're talking fruiting and flowering development, helping to stimulate high levels of photosynthetic growth. Now that you've got a good understanding on the high levels of intensity and quality of light you certainly need to be able to regulate that. As I mentioned earlier the dimmer has migrated into the end rail making it really easy to reach into your grow space and adjust that intensity on the go. It allows you to adjust the intensity from 15% right up to 100% in easy stepped increments because again you're not going to need all of that intensity all of the time. Now most growers out there are simply going to plug their grow light into a mechanical or digital timer to cycle it on and off. There's nothing wrong with that, it works perfectly fine. But there is a commercial suite of features right next to the dimmer. Next to the dimmer is the input and output port, a really easy way to integrate your light into something like a Four Seasons Master Controller or even an AC Infinity Controller via a Type A adapter. It's going to give you a whole host of features that the controller offers, whether it's sunrise, sunset, light scheduling and of course dimmer control. If you're working with an AC Infinity Controller of course you do get the benefits of Wi-Fi controllability for your grow light. From the output port you can easily daisy chain multiple grow lights into their respective input port, a great way to connect multiple lights from a single grow space to a single controller, meaning you can fully automate your entire grow room off one control source, a great way to add a commercial level set of features and automation to a domestic growing environment. So if you're a seasoned grower looking to replace that old bulb or even upgrade your current LED, maybe you're a new grower looking to start out with only the best equipment, the EVO Plus 680 should certainly be at the top of your list. Knowing that you've got 680 watts of plant centric growth on tap, you're going to be filling out that 1.2 grow tent or even a 1.5 with no stress at all. Backed with a full 5 year warranty and herbal health support you know that this grow light's going to be performing day in and day out with no stress at all. We hope we've given you a little more information on what this grow light has to offer, the benefits and advantages of this new EVO Plus model. But if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to get in touch with us here at Herbal House. Thanks for watching.